Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liana if you're new and today we have a tutorial for this dramatic blue eyeshadow look that scares my dad. You may notice that I look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson today with this black turtleneck and gold chain, which by the way I want to talk about real quick before we get into the makeup. Today's video is in collaboration with Ana Luisa. I'm very excited to be working with them for the second time. They sent me this gorgeous box chain, which is the perfect layering necklace, and it goes really well with the earrings that they sent me last time. And also their Vita necklace, also a great layering piece. As I've mentioned before, I've been really into getting some higher quality, long-lasting jewelry lately. Both these necklaces are gold vermeil, which is 14k gold over sterling silver. This is definitely a step up from gold-plated jewelry because they will last so much longer. If you don't know, Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that offsets 100% of their carbon emissions, so you can shop with a clean conscience, which I really like. Plus, I feel like it's so hard to find sustainable brands that are also fairly priced. Ana Luisa doesn't have any luxury markups, and and there is a wide range of options starting at $39. There is literally something for everybody. They're currently having their biggest sale of the year, their holiday sale. They're doing buy one, get one 40% off. And if you're in the US, you get a free travel case if you spend $150. Their jewelry is so nice and elegant and any one of their pieces would make for a great gift, either for yourself or a loved one. If you wanna check them out, their site is linked in the description box below. And now without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit. I'm starting off with moisturizer and some SPF, and I'm just gonna go right in and do the eyebrows with this angled brush and some pomade. I'm using the e.l.f. brow kit, as I always do, and recently, instead of doing pomade first and then powder, I've been mixing the pomade and powder together. And to be honest, it kind of creates the consistency of Anastasia dip brow and allows for thicker, darker strokes, which I really like, and plus it saves time. I like to make my eyebrows a little darker, probably because I'm stuck in 2016, but uh, it's just the look that works for me. Because I go in with a pretty heavy hand, I want to make sure to blend out the front with a spoolie because I really don't like the idea of having blocky sharpie brows. And after that, I'll take some brow gel and brush the hairs kind of in the natural direction that they grow, but just press it flat against my face so that it won't move. My right eyebrow actually has a lot of trouble staying in place, so uh, I think I need to buy a new brow gel or something. <laughs> or like get a brow treatment or whatever. After brows, I apply some concealer on the under eye to cover my designer eye bags and just use a fluffy brush to blend it out. My concealer is more or less my skin tone and I just do this in lieu of foundation. Some people like to use a lighter concealer to brighten up the under eye, but I like to use a shade that is pretty much my skin color since I also wanna use it as eyeshadow primer and just kind of put it everywhere I need it. And also this concealer can also be used as a foundation. So on days where I wanna go um, more full coverage, I can use this all over my face instead of uh, having a shade too light. So I prefer my concealer to be my skin color. Then I'll take this neutral brown shade from the brow kit since it's literally my only neutral brown shade and just use that as a kind of base slash transition color because the blue that I'm about to use is very pigmented and a dark color. So uh, I want it to be as seamless as possible around the edges. And so I'm just gonna go in with this darker matte blue and just put it everywhere and kind of get that base shape down. With blue eyeshadow, it can get a little tricky, but having that brown shade there helps a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this gorgeous shimmery blue with yet another fluffy brush and just put it all over the place, mainly trying to keep it within the bounds of the matte blue. I'm mainly focusing it on my actual eyelid as opposed to the wingy bit. After that, I'm gonna go back in with the matte blue shade from earlier and intensify those edges just to make it a little darker. And uh, then I'm gonna go in with highlight and just put that on my brow bone and my cheekbones and my inner corners. And this next step is optional and I almost never do this, but I take a makeup wipe just to get that clean, sharp edge. Sometimes I like the diffused edge, but today I felt like trying this and I think it really makes for a graphic and or editorial feel. Um, and then I realized that I should have put under eye concealer afterwards and I reapplied a little bit of it that I wiped off. 
The next step is liner. With an intense eyeshadow look like this, I usually like to go for an equally intense black wing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I feel pretty confident in my liner skills and I was feeling a little reckless also, which is why I did this afterward. But if you wanna be safe, then definitely do liner before you wipe it. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is apply some blush and this particular one is very natural looking. So I, a blush crazed lunatic, smear the stick all over my face like so and just blend it in with a fluffy brush. And then right afterwards, I'm gonna take a bronzer and just go right underneath my cheekbones. And now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to put on a swipe of mascara, not too much, but just enough to lift them up a little bit so that they blend in with the falsies and also helps the falsies have a platform to sit on. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead with the lipstick. I'm going for a very neutral shade since I don't want to fight for attention with the eyes and I'm going to swipe on some gloss right on top of that. And that is it. This is the completed blue eyeshadow look. Definitely not an everyday look for me, but I'm into it. So that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!